From Tampa Bay Screening News Leader, brought to you by AlertTodayFlorida.com, this is ABC Action News. I'm Dee O'Reilly. Get ready for some summer-like temperatures. Greg D will have your full forecast coming up. But first, though, let's get to your ABC Action News headlines. An Ohio man is coming forward after being diagnosed with an extremely rare flesh-eating bacteria he likely contracted in Tampa Bay. Barry Briggs was on a boating trip near Whedon Island during spring break. It started out as a slight bruising before becoming a black bubble. Doctors diagnosed him with necrotizing fasciitis. I'm incredibly fortunate to to have all my toes, to have my foot, to be alive. One in a million, and uh, that's not the lottery I wanted to win. That's for sure. The story comes just days after we reported a Florida fisherman got the flesh-eating bacterial infection after a fishing hook stuck him while he was sailing 20 miles off Palm Harbor. St. Pete police are looking for a giant cow statue that somebody stole from Tyrone Boulevard. The owners of the Harold Seltzer Steakhouse say the cow has sentimental value and they want it back. The restaurant says anyone who helps return the cow safe and sound We'll get a free meal. Wildlife officials want you to report any iguanas you see the next time you're on Anna Maria Island. They will start trapping the lizards if they get enough reports. So far, there are three sightings of green iguanas on the island. They eat vegetation, including people's gardens. But FWC officials tell us that they are really looking for the green iguana's cousin, the black spiny tailed iguana. That one eats sea turtle eggs. The black spiny tailed iguana would give us uh, cause for concern. They're um, known to be invasive and are spreading throughout Charlotte County and into southern Sarasota County. You can report iguana sightings using the FWC mobile app. We've got a link to that inside the ABC Action News mobile app. All you have to do is search the word iguana. Passenger jets could soon be flying over different Bay Area neighborhoods. That's because the FAA wants to expand efficiency in areas with multiple airports. That means changing flight patterns. You can give your ideas on these proposed changes tonight at 6 at the Clarion Inn and Suites in Clearwater or at workshops tomorrow through Thursday in Tampa. You'll want to fill up your tank today. It's because Tampa gas prices are at their lowest level in more than a month. The average price is $2.65 a gallon right now. That's down five cents in the past week. AAA says the cost of gas could drop even a few cents more. Prices in the Bay Area are lower than the state average of $2.71. And while gas prices fell here in Florida, the nationwide average actually rose a nickel to $2.89 a gallon. Now let's talk about these hot temperatures, Greg D. Yeah, it's a uh, really hot out there for the afternoon. Temperatures should be in the mid 80s this time of year, but as we go through the rest of the afternoon, we're talking about mid to upper 80s to near 90. Lots of sunshine too. That's going to make it feel hotter. Humidity is going to level off a little bit during the afternoon, then come back up as we head into the evening hours. Notice that 9 p.m. temperature still 80 degrees in Tampa. So if you've got evening plans, Dress for summer. It'll stay warm late into the evening. Your seven day forecast on the weather page of ABCActionNews.com. Do you? All right, thank you, Greg. You can now get news updates all day long on your favorite streaming device. And don't forget to download the free ABC Action News app to receive breaking news alerts. This ABC Action News update is brought to you by AlertTodayFlorida.com. Pedestrians always use the crosswalk and cross with the signal when crossing the street because safety doesn't happen by accident.